Hello, hello, everybody. For some reason, the game decided to open up on a... On this. I guess we're gonna have to read, well, quote-unquote, read the emails again. Yeah, I was just like, oh, I'll just start it up so that things will maybe go good. And then just like, psych. We have to go... One thing that bothers me about this game is that you can't hold a direction on the directional pad. Like, I hit up, and I hold it, it doesn't continue to go up. It's just a, a minor thing that probably doesn't matter up much in the end. And we already read all these. And now... Let us see if we can find the next uh, energy source location that I presume will be through here. And then we will head back to Connor, uh, whom I believe we last saw being attempted to be hung at the gallows before being saved. And Washington got, like, nuked from orbit and we had to restart that section or something like that. Ah, how the, now the question is, how the hell do we get there? Maybe we can climb that? I don't know. Presumably, we go from here. And we go all the way around. I think, maybe? Hmm. I just figured maybe he would have learned some rock climbing from Connor. There's big, big old crackles. The game's like, no. Cannot do it. Oh, maybe we climb from in here? I was about to get very upset if he didn't. There's only so many crackles that uh, the game going, no, you can't, that I would, <laughs> that I can accept. Well, we have a power source. Oh, yeah, and, yeah. For a moment, I thought maybe another cutscene from previous, because I don't think we went down that place before. But in the power source goes. I wonder what stories the temple will tell me today. <laughs> hey, the door's there. What wonders? And the pillar went down there. So I guess let's go down and see what Madness Juno doth has say. Because apparently she has a complex against humans. Oh, because you want subservient slaves. My father is dead or something. At least they're actually giving the future people. Dear I'm God, Rebecca, what was wrong? With your, what's wrong with your face? Don't be dumb. I don't know, maybe they were sleeping or something and we woke them. Some kind of cryogenics or hibernation. I mean, there's any infinite anything really. There? They were working on a bunch of different solutions, but nothing worked. That Just we know of. One to the next, and then I don't know. They must have left at some point after the end. We really don't know all that much, because, remember, all of this is being told to us from Juno. And we don't know if we can trust Juno. Like if they'd succeeded. Probably bad for us. About what it'll be like if we don't. Salvation. They found a way. Too late for them. But not for you. Sealed. To protect it. So now it bars your way. Find the key. The past will tell. Still don't know if I can trust you, Juno. You kind of, well, it depends who sent that email. You're just like, oh, you took up axe and shit. Killed my father. How could you do this? Ancient super civilization. With all the super floaty techno rocks. Still have something akin to rebar in them. Sure. I don't know why that took me out for a moment. A new world approached. One that was dark and cold. 
it would consume us. For we were flesh, and flesh is frail. Though suits and shields might offer comfort, such adornments would not suffice. Not to save us all. What are you going to do? Kill that guy? So we sought to change what we were. In this manner, we might thrive in a world made poisonous. So basically a sin. who volunteered to see if it might be done. Aita. My husband. My love. In the end, it changed him. Ruined him. Oh, boo-hoo. He was made a prisoner of the machines. The machines you made? The body might survive. But his mind became brittle to the touch. So kind of like... Me for release. For days. Subject for 16? Weeks, for months. I pleaded with him to give us time to find another way. But, but there, there wasn't, wasn't one. one. Not, Not for, for him. him. Not, Not for us. us. That dagger looks far too real. Super advanced civilization. Best euthanasia dagger. Okay. Okay. So I guess this is ancient animus. And I've completely been turned around. I don't know where I came from. Well, I obviously didn't come from there. Thank you for taking control away from me, Kip. I don't, okay, I came through here. Turn the corner. Very interesting. So yeah, I get the feeling that Juno is... Like, after that email... <laughs> the email is my primary source of, I don't think I trust you anymore. I just wonder how the story... Because at least the, like, story of, like, Desmond and such are actually going places to kind of supplement the fact that Connor's story is so far kind of meh. Like, it had an interesting start, but it's kind of uh, begun to... He, he, he turned invisible for a moment. But it's kind of, uh, I don't know, started to crumble a bit, the story of Connor, to me. What is consciousness but a series of electrical impulses? Well, it also has to do with the brain. The body, a vessel to hold these thoughts. It's more like the but sparks we, and the conduit of those sparks. With super technology. Something stronger. Something better. Rock. So we forged a new vessel. One that might endure. It proved easy enough to enter. Not so much to leave. You're stuck here forever. I swear the characters get more and more gaunt but as I play the game. To leave required something more. Something wrong. Something human. They abandoned. I wondered, though, were they right to turn away? So you created Horcruxes. I should find like a better term. JK Rowling's a bitch. Now, let's see, can I climb? We can climb, we can continue to climb. I don't know, like, which way it wants me to go. Or if I even can. That's not even a prop... Man. D Desmond's fingernails must be top tier. So I'm going to assume that these, like, this entire complex is Juno. Then that also, like, then there's Minerva and that guy... Why, why is there rock? Like, normal rock. Just 
amidst the other rock, okay? So that's where the next power source must go. So all along, I've probably been doing this entirely wrong, and I meant to get power sources and go plug it in while getting the various lectures. But I'm do it out of order. I go get the lectures and then things. I found a third power source. That's fast. Already. It popped up in an earlier search, but I've only just managed to confirm it. That seems convenient. Where? There's a museum in Cairo with one on display. I guess Connor will have to wait. No, you stay. We need to find that key, and time is running out. I'll make the trip. I'm gonna have to come save your ass, won't I? Everything's gonna be fine. I'll be back soon. I mean, why didn't we kill Cross last Better time? Than you are, Desmond. Or well, hell, why didn't we kill Cross the first time? Winter approaches. The air is still and sharp with grim expectation. The I just realized Desmond now has bag physics. Or at like least the, the animations on his bag, now demand my which is an upgrade. The Templars have targeted George Washington directly, and will not rest until he is dead. I had hoped to shield him from this knowledge, but Thomas Hickey ended any hope I had of staying silent. And so I have resolved to share everything I know of the really? Templars and their plots, of who I really am. Achilles finds fault in this. And hmm. we argue every day, but there is simply too much now at stake to maintain restraint. If I remember correctly, I thought that Connor was just like, I should tell Washington. And like somebody else, I maybe it was Achilles, was like, no, you can't tell him because it's like he needs to believe in things and stuff. And if there's even a single doubt, everything will crumble. Because George Washington is a weak-ass bitch, apparently. It's just like... And... It's just like, George Washington, I know only a few days ago you thought that I was a traitor and I needed to die. And that you expedited my death. Or like, saw somebody else expedite my journey to the gallows. But now I must inform you that it was in fact somebody else who was in fact at fault. And it's just like, oh, my heart, two per perceived betrayals is too much for poor Georgie Porgy. I'm sorry, but this logic is stupid. <laughs> and just to give my, like, my current thoughts on Connor's story, um, the beginning, be beginning with Haytham was pretty good, kind of mystery, interesting, and... Then it went to, I still think that the twist of, oh, now that you know that we're Templars, we're actually a bunch of bastards is just absolutely stupid. It would have been more interesting if they maintained their, like, perceived personalities up until we kill them. So there might be a bit of gray, like maybe having us, like, second guess ourselves is like, is this really what Haytham is doing, basically becoming his... Like, because it doesn't make much sense, because from what we know of Haytham, Haytham was, had a father who was an assassin, but there was also, like, a Templar leader who was close to him in his childhood, and that's how he became a Templar. He was never an assassin. At least that's what it's implied through what I read. That's what it feels like. And then later on... During the prologue with Haytham, he said that, like, oh, my original allies, they w went astray and w thought, like, oh, we must kill people and have an iron fist to rule and just uh, exert our strength, blah, and I disagreed. And so we are going to become Templars, humdy dumdy. And then fast forward to Connor being, like, I don't know, 12 years old. Surprise! Apparently, Haytham has done yet another 180. It's just like, actually, we do need to do all the murdering of innocents and the iron fisting. It's just like, maybe a twist will come up, but the fact that the... We've killed two people, right? How many people have we killed? No, we've killed three people. We killed William Mann, who was trying to steal 
native land who's just like, oh, I'm, they are stupid and I know it's best for them. They're better me to kill them or it would be somebody else. Bleh. And then there was Pitcan, who basically was just like, we have to rule. Other people wouldn't be able to do the good job. I was just trying to talk to your other people, actually. You know, with cannon fire and lots of bullets, bleh. And then there was uh, Hickey, who was, like, just honest. Who's just like, hey, I don't care about anything. I just want beers and titties, bleh. And it's just like... <laughs> Meanwhile, Connor has been all over the place to me. His voice directing feels monotone. Sometimes he feels oddly confrontational. Other time, it's just, it's, he's all over the place to me. And it's just like, especially because it began with like, Oh, I, I destroyed his uh, tea trade, William Johnson's tea trade. I don't need to kill him. And then later on, uh, everyone's just like, no, don't kill Charles Lee now that you have the chance. Wait. It's just like, the story is all over the place. And it feels like they came up with certain story beats and then twisted the characters to fit those story beats. It doesn't flow as smoothly as, like, even Altair's or Ezio's stories. It's just... It's definitely more in-depth than, like, Brotherhood's story. And even feels a bit more, like, present than Revelation's story. But at the same time, Revelation's kind of earned its kind of meandering because it was the final Ezio story and it was the end of the Ezio trilogy. So basically, this is a return to form of, like, new initial Assassin's Creed story and... I don't know, I don't know. Connor's story just feels kind of all over the place because, again, we don't really see him train all that much. It's just... Yeah, we don't see him train all that much through it. They just say, and then he trained for some amount of time. And then Connor gives us exposition of what's happening rather than actually showing us what's happening a lot of the time. I don't know. It's weird. Do this, Connor. Then what would you propose we do? Sit and watch while the Templars take control? We are sworn to stop them, or have you forgotten? Assassins are meant to be quiet, precise. <coughs> we do not go announcing conspiracies from the rooftops to all who pass by. Who are you to lecture anyone? You locked yourself away in this crumbling Kinda has a point. on the Brotherhood entirely. Since the day I arrived, you've done nothing but discourage me. And on the rare occasions you've chosen to help, you've done so little, you may as well have done nothing at all. How dare you! Then tell me, on whose watch did the Brotherhood falter? Whose inaction allowed the Templar Order to grow so large that it now controls an entire nation? If I sought to dissuade you, it was because you knew nothing. If I was reluctant to contribute, it was because you were naive. A thousand times you would have died and taken God knows how many with you. Let me tell you something, Connor. Life is not a fairy tale, and there are no happy endings. <laughs> no. Not when men like you are left in charge. Actual drama. In your haste to save the world, boy, take care you don't destroy it. Ha! <laughs> All we're doing is going up to Washington and saying, hey, you know, like, like, I don't even, like, really know why we can't just, like, I would like control of the map, please. I hate that. I would like control of the map, please. I want control of the map, please. I'm pressing the map button, and it's just saying no. Well, let's check out the DNA sequence thingy. So we're in sequence nine, so there's three more sequences after this. So an overall of, well, one, two, three, four, four, yeah. And homestead missions, there's seemingly a decent few left. Apparently we've done all Godfrey and Terry. 
And then there's the Homestead Inventions, which I've done like none of, apparently. But yeah, like, I guess Connor is going to go and be like, Washington, there's this group of men called the Templars, and they must be annihilated. When all we need to say is, hey, Charles Lee, he was working with Tom Hickey. They told me. That's all he needs to do. But fine, we'll meander until the game lets me open my map. Oh, that's not that's not that's not a portal. That's just the fast travel point. But you just know that the game is going to turn around and be like, oh, but Achilles was right. Oh, why didn't Connor listen? It's just kind of odd. Kind of weird. Yes, 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 Animus this, Animus that. You could just have a big old thing say, lots of things added to the Animus. You don't need to just completely take away my ability to open the map. I swear to God. This is so aggravating. I just want to open my map. But there's... Oh, there's an announcement. There's an announcement. Go to the shop. No fucking shit. Why would you say, hey, this is now unlocked in the shop. Hey, this is now unlocked in the shop. Hey, this is now unlocked in the shop. If you're just going to have a generic alert that says, hey, uh, you can go to the shop to look at new things. What the fuck is wrong with you? Why can't I open the map? I'm pressing the button. I was pressing the button again and again. Or did they just change it for some reason? Because I've been using this button, I swear. I swear to God. Oh, we're not even... <laughs> Are you seriously telling me that we went to New York just to... <laughs> just at once? I don't know why that bothers me. We went to New York to walk down a way, chase a guy, get thrown in prison, almost executed, and then we're told to not go back there? That bothers me for some reason. But yeah, uh, huh. The game changed buttons on me. Before, I could use the, what's normally the select button, but is Bibbidi Bob options on the PlayStation controller, but now it's changed to the big ol' like touchpad and I don't know why did this game get an update or did did steam just go like oh and now we have power to did I don't even know because like I swear it was freaking the, the other option button before that's why I like opened up some things when I was trying to open my map so it, it yeah, because that was a thing where I'd be like, oh, I want to open my map. I accidentally opened a notification thing. Why all of a sudden did it change? This game is an anomaly. It is hurting my soul. But it'll be interesting to see where the story goes. <laughs> and after this, we still have things like the Tyranny of King Washington DLC. And then, uh, bu bu I'm my muscle reflex is like, ah, press the other select button. Why did it change? Why on God's green earth did it change? I know, I'm just going to... Get off my horse. I don't need you, horse. I can go my own way. But yeah, it's just like... Uh, I was giving my thoughts because yeah, we have uh, the Tyranny of King Washington DLC to play through, which is, I believe, a what-if scenario. An alternate universe DLC. I wonder how they're going to justify that. That'll be interesting to see. And then there's also Assassin's Creed Liberation, which I know nothing about. I just know that it exists. So it'll be interesting to see what is in that game. It's kind of like... I guess it's kind of like uh, Assassin's Creed 4's Freedom Cry, where it's like both a DLC but also its own standalone thing. 
Also kind of interesting that this is the first time that we've been in a snowy zone since Haytham, as far as I'm aware. It's been a while since we've seen the snow. Yeah. But now that I fully know to ignore bonus objectives, and that the stealth is basically an, a practice in futility, I wonder if I will more enjoy this game than I have in the past. Which is also kind of sad, because that was me trying to engage with the game as it was built. And now I'm basically <laughs> going to have to force myself to not do that. Goodbye, beaver. But at least there's beaver. I will climb this hill. Why did I suddenly become incognito? Is it because this area is controlled by the... Like, uh... The revolution? And all the other places are controlled by the British? And they're always on the lookout for being mean? But then again, I've killed my, my fair share of, like... Revolution soldiers, because they were being mean to me. I mean, I could grab that, but there's basically no point. There's really no point to grabbing the trinkets, because I'm basically never going to get all the trinkets, and I don't even really know. Like, the thingy things that Pegleg gives me, what they do, what they unlock. Maybe they're like the bonus objectives, they unlock nothing. They're a placebo reward. There to be like, hey, you get this thing if you do it, when in actuality you don't. I hop and skip through the snow. He diddly dee. Why, why are only some of these guys treated as enemies? Why is that guy floating through the sky? Like, there's a ton of people I can lock onto here. Oh, no, he's not floating through the sky. He's just uh, heating up his ass. But, yeah, it's just like... Why does the game selectively choose, like, who to highlight as an enemy and who to highlight as just a guy that I can kill if I so choose? I'm almost shocked that the game doesn't go and... I don't know why, but that doesn't seem historically accurate. <laughs> like, yeah, I could see them having big pointy stiddly dees to stop cavalry. But, uh, I don't know. The way they're sticking out looks weird, but it's probably... I don't know. Maybe if I actually saw something like this in real life, it would look less weird. Hello, Washington. Are you going to try and kill me? Commander. Connor. Any word on Lee? Not yet. My apologies. I've been distracted. Fair enough. You've had people out trying to kill you. Supply caravans meant for the camp have gone missing. And that. I Logistics. Treachery. A traitor named Benjamin Church, recently released from prison, has vanished as well. Why was he released from prison? The two events are surely related. What was his crime? He was caught sending letters to the Loyalists, detailing our troop strength. I feel like that would be... you wouldn't... scare tactic. That we might avoid war. A poor lie. And yet he still got away. I will find Church for you. And your supplies. What? what reason have you to help? My own. Does it matter? As you wish. We've received reports like, of... Connor has the perfect excuse. Just say, he's one of the men who burnt my village and killed my mother when I was a child. Like, 
like seriously, I I don't understand. Wait, like sure, I understand part of it. Why? Okay, first off, Achilles is like, no, don't tell them about the Templars. Connor's like, oh, but I'm gonna. Still hasn't. Apparently, he has told him that Lee was part in with Hickey. And I, I just, I don't know. The way everything is presented is bothering me. The game, like, brings this up as a topic and then, like, doesn't do anything with it for now. Maybe it will. I don't know. Because, again... I just feel like he could say that he was part of this group of men that included those such as William Johnson, Pitcairn, Hickey, and Lee, who burnt my village and killed my mother. It's just like, that's all you need. Just say, he was a bad man in the past. Hey, fuck it. I've helped you a lot. This kills guy I don't like. It helps you. Ying the dee. along the southern road. Just, I don't understand. I don't understand. I suggest you begin your search there. I can talk to him, but I kind of don't want to because all the conversations in this game are irrelevant. They're just Benjamin Franklin conversations. I must go t return to the abandoned church. From whence was I an abandoned church before? Me trying to think. This is probably the game going, you should bring a horse. And I'm just like, why? Why do I need a horse? I'm a man. A man of the wilderness. How else can I hunt the rabbit if I'm not on my feet? Oh, well, you know, through the trees. The snow definitely seems to be, like, off. Like, some places lets me run full spread. Other places, it says, suffer and hindrance. Also, one thing that I have noticed, I have, like not cared about upgrading my weapons at all through the entire game. I have not noticed a single need or want to... Why would you do that, game? I have not noticed, like, a single good or bad to using or not using. Like, different things. Is combo good? Or is it not? Oh, hey, Atham. Oh, father. Connor. Any last words? Wait. A poor choice. <laughs> how, how did that... Check up on church? That push, push do? Stolen enough for your British brothers? Benjamin Church is no brother of mine. No more than the Redcoats or their idiot king. And yet... I expected naivete, but this... The Templars do not fight for the crown. We seek the same as you, boy. Freedom, justice, independence. What? Only if you control. Johnson, Pitcairn, Hickey. They sought to steal land, to sack towns, to murder George Washington. Johnson sought to own the land, that we might keep it safe. Pitcairn aimed to encourage diplomacy, which you cocked up thoroughly enough to start a goddamn war. He was firing cannons. George Washington is a wretched leader. He's lost nearly every battle in which he's taken part. The man's wrapped with uncertainty and insecurity. Only look at Valley Forge to know my words are true. We're all better off without him. Look, much as I'd love to spar with you, Benjamin Church's mouth is as big as his ego. You clearly want the supplies he's stolen. I want him punished. Our interests are aligned. And what do you propose? A truce. Perhaps. Perhaps <laughs> Some time together. To like, my question is, well, I guess Charles Lee would have told him by now that he was, that Connor is his son. It's just like, 
Hey, Hatham, there's this kid who's working with George Washington and all the rebels. He's Connor. He's your son. Wait, actually, would they have known? Would they? I don't think they would know. Like, because they burnt the village when Connor was young, obviously not knowing he was Hatham's son. Either that or Hatham did know. Like, I don't know. And, like, obviously, Charles Lee associated with them and still associated with Hickey presently. Yeah, I don't trust Hatham. Hatham's weird. I still don't know how he knows he's a son. But you are my son, after all, and might still be saved from your ignorance. I can kill you now, if you prefer. Excellent. Shall we laugh? Do you even know where Benjamin Church has gone? I'm afraid not. Hmm. I'd hoped to ambush him when he or one of his men returned here. It seems I'm too late. They've come and cleared the place out. Alternate universe where Connor just stabs him in the back right there. I may be able to track him. They left behind bottles that are fused to the wood crate, there apparently. Rations inside the crates. Medical supplies and clothing as well. More smashed crate. Band of dudes. We have to get, like, out of their way. Hilariously, they're going to pass over right where our goddamn clue is. You walk along, jilted drummer boy. Snow has obscured the tracks, but enough remains that we can still follow. And then it turns out they were going backwards. Hello there. Just my luck. Going to freeze to death if I don't get this fixed. <laughs> Hello there. Are you Ben Church's man? <laughs> Me starts running. Well played. Okay, that's funny. Guy starts running. Well played. It was not wise to run. What do you want? Where is Benjamin Church? Where is I Benny? Know. We was riding for a cup just north of here. It's where we normally unload the cargo. Maybe you'll find him there. Well, that was mean. Enough of that. You did not have to kill him. Let's not waste time with all this pointless banter. Go catch up with the rest of Church's Ben. Infiltrate that camp of theirs and see what you can discover. And what about you? Never you mind. <laughs> Just do as I ask. Very rude of a man. But let us see. Do not get detected and eavesdrop. With a good haul today. Saw a bit of gunpowder in those crates. We'll get extra for that. Aye, church will be pleased and we'll be rich. I almost feel bad for the Yanks. Shivering and starving out there. It's a hard way to go. All they need to do is raise the white flag. They should have done that a long time ago. All this fight serves no purpose. The crowd's good. Now, this is a good segment. <laughs> like actually using nature to follow along. Damn it, I probably could have jumped into their leaves at some point.
Yep, I think that's what the game wanted me to do. Jump in from the D. Kill camp guards without being detected. We just needed to, in general, follow the driver. Valley Forge. That's right. You sure about this? It's not my business to be sure or not sure. I just do as church asks. If you're so concerned, take it up with him. Is he here? <laughs> what the fuck? Why? Of course not. I did in New York the last I heard, trying to keep a low profile. What on account of him not wanting to go back to jail? At least they can still talk about this while investigating the dead body. But they just ran directly at me, and I'm just like, what the fuck? Damn, mind me, just stabbing people. Call me Stabbing Port, why don't you? I'm slightly disappointed that what stealth is only good. I hate them. He was creeping around the camp all suspicious like. Even the stealth doesn't work for him. Uh, he's something else. Something special. Isn't that right, I hate them. What was I gonna say though? It definitely feels like the stealth only really works when the game like explicitly has dedicated sections for it. And even then. Only if it's like very small and quick. A lot of the time, like I still, I'm still disappointed that those like forts were like so opposed to stealth. They're like, there's two entrances, and there's no way to stealth in. Just bothersome. Church told me all about you, and you should know better than this. <clears throat> You're not really. Position of you making threats. He's gonna like yeah. kill them both and then threaten you. Or he's gonna call for me. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. Again, just the stealth is so poor in this game. I miss the old days. Now, if you can't handle a couple of mercenaries, then we've really no business working together. Unbelievable. Oh, dang it, game. I was doing something cool and the game said no. I tried to do the thing, but the game says, hey. And, uh, I'm trying to draw my sword, but the game won't let me. That's very mean. I'm trying to- I- my- my bloody thing is selected, but it just says no. And- and now my- I, I, <laughs> So when I try to- Has the game just broken? With the update. Oh, dang it, I forgot. The game's stupid and the counter, but no counter. No counter for you. And now... This is the game where you can't counter when you counter. 
Get bowed. Get bowed. It just still frustrates me. But now I have to try this out. Okay. Reload that. I have to see. Alright, that's weird because when I selected my sword in combat and was like doing it repeatedly, the game was like, no, you want your fists. And then only when I swapped to my like bow and arrow did the game go, oh yeah, we should give him his sword. Okay, that's cool. That's a cool use of the system. If that is, like, the combo system for stealth kills, it's super cool, but, like, literally only there so that you can sneak up on the band of drummer boys. And on even then, you try to do it the moment somebody finds out they're like, and now we are unable to be murdered from stealth. Which still bothers me, because I'm used to the old Assassin's Creed way of doing things, where there was a split second between transitioning from stealth mode to combat mode that allowed you to actually still stealth kill them in a split second, where they only actually are able to block you if they drew their weapon, although technically a lot of these guys just use muskets, so that's kind of their weapon, but still. He diddly GBD. Did we even learn where Benjamin was? I don't think we did. And once again, Haytham makes no sense. He's just like, oh, all of them. It's just like, oh, Benjamin. Benjamin's like a traitor man. I don't like him. But everyone else, oh, all their, their reasons were legitimate. Killing the people who owns the land. Like, it's like... The land is meaningless, if not for the people. So when you go to the people who are on the land and say, Give me the land or I kill you, I don't really care about how much you're going to safeguard things. Well, at least we're heading back to New York, New York. I guess we can just teleport. Through the magic of teleportation. I thought we were going somewhere else in the frontiers. I still don't know how to get rid of that one notch of diddly d notoriety out here in the frontiers, but we probably can't. And only in select areas are we free of notoriety, which is a bit bothersome. That's the problem with, ha like, having a notoriety system and then, like, not having it be universal. Because now I'm just like, can I get rid of it? Can I not? Why not? Uh, who are these guys? Or like, what's this? Benedict Arnold mission. Benedict Arnold, I know that name. And I don't know why. How dare you call upon me after Monmouth? I have nobody else to turn to. The Culper Ring informed me that West Point's been infiltrated. I believe they intend to murder Major General Benedict Arnold. I still do not see why you need me. The loss of such a figure would be devastating to the cause. It must and be when was Monmouth? What happened there? The mere idea of the Patriots being breached would be crippling to morale, to the war. Will you do it? It will be done. But never call on me again. No, seriously. What was Monmouth and why is Connor so angry about it? Like, unless you mean, oh, your guys tried to assassinate me. Well, not assassinate, but tried to kill me through the power of... diddly D gallows. Anything. We're beaters. We're begging. Just distract him for a moment and we'll take what we need. Any other weapons I care about? I have a pirate boarding axe for some reason. Still 
I killed people for the children. I'm not even sure if that's what the game wanted me to do, but it's what I wanted to do, so I did it. The game highlighted them, I choked them out, I win. I don't much care where you find them. Just get me the money, or you'll suffer the consequences and be removed. Oh, good day. <laughs> Darling, take the children and stay out of place. Get beat up, wig man. Bloody business that was, but I thank you nonetheless. I can rest easy knowing this extortionist won't be back threatening my family. Your family that just ran off. But yeah, it's just like I'm trying to go through, and I don't see there like there's I don't remember there being anything. Of Connor being, like, betrayed or really hurt by the rebels, the revolutionaries. So why is he just like, don't you ever call on me again? Like, I know the name Monmouth, but I don't know what it exactly is. Because I'm a fool. you can offer us heat who chase us and beat us when they can we can throw them away anything we'll take anything you can offer I have to us. listen to the entire heat thing chase us and beat us when they can we can throw them away we can take just enough to fill our bellies for the night <laughs> send them to heaven mister there you go Get to stealing. No oh, now they have things that we can kind of climb. Put in a blunt tip or two and we could actually climb the diddly-doo. Sure, let's go to West Point. We're, do we're doing a Benedict Arnold mission. I don't even know. It was just there. What is this, a DLC? I, I could see that. Find the spy and kill him without being noticed. I would try my bow and arrow. Hmm, without being noticed. That's one way to do it, just a quick old poke and stab. And run away. The poke and run. It's like poke and tournament, but for murders. Not the sickness. Will he get down with it? Wherever he went, his replacement is something more quiet and balanced, keeps to himself. Not like Travis was, always up for a laugh. I know what you mean. Feels like the new chap is gonna strangle me in my sleep. <laughs> Come on, me. Come to me. Be numbed.
At least there, the anomalous properties of the whistle mechanic works in my favor. I hate the, like, fish lens thing that happens. Damn it. It's not who I wanted, game. Why would you do this to me? Lie down in the bush. At least this one is now locate the remaining spies and not do it without being detected, because I think that's going to be literally impossible. Like, I might be able to run through. Actually, I think that's actually what they want me to do. Dear Lord. What the fuck? What in God's name are you doing? That man was a British spy. But that, that guy just ran at me. What? General Washington learned of the plot and sent me to foil it. Indeed. We need all the support we can muster. Some of my men are leaving on a munitions delivery to a nearby camp, and I need you to escort them. Find John Anderson upon your arrival. He'll have further instructions. Questions? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I was just like, okay, where's the next spy? Guy runs up on me. What the fuck? Not a bad mission, that one. Well, then there's the next Benedict Arnold mission. Do I care to do the Benedict Arnold missions? They just seem to... I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna look it up. What is the Benedict Arnold missions? If it says DLC, I'm just gonna skip them. Because I don't really care. It says it's Creed 3... Benedict Arnold missions. Tell me of their information. They're, they were PS3 exclusive missions. And then d I scroll down, and the Assassin's Creed fandom wiki says, Benedict Arnold DLC. So, I guess if you got the game on PlayStation 3, they were originally just like exclusive but then if you were anywhere else or maybe later on it's just dlc maybe and that explains why connor was like after monmouth you dare call upon me it's because it's dlc and it might be out of order but yeah i just kind of we might come back and do them but I'm not really in the mood for quickie, quickie little DLC mission thingies. Just not in the mood for it. Again, might come back and do others. Do more Benedict Arnold ones. But for now, no. We want main story stuff. We want to see what weirdness Hatham is up to and what Weird stupidity the game will stab me with. I keep pressing the options button because it should be a fucking thing. But there should be a liberation mission that spawned up here, I think the map said. There's the liberation mission. We're we're gonna save the same exact family from. Oh no, it's a slightly different one. Just get me the. Oh, good day, sir. Darling, take the children and stay out of sight. Bloody business that was. Literally, in this case.
since it's just right here on the way, we shall grab the thing as we go to the church. That's not a church, that's just a whole diddly bangle. King's College. It had like a big old toppy top. Like a church. How about you shut the fuck up? No. Well, it'll be interesting to see what Washington does at Monmouth to piss off Connor. A guy was climbing the building. I keep pressing the options button because it changed. I swear that it changed. I swear. It used to be the options button, but then it changed. And apparently my assassin buddies have traveled with me to New York. Let's send them out on a contract because I don't really need them. If you fail this, I will be immensely disappointed in you. These are my blankets. I shall burn them, because you're an idiot. Either that or malicious. Why you gotta go off and do that? Blankets ain't cheap. This blanket has the pox in it. You need to see a doctor as soon as possible. Ah, oh, hell. Yeah, because either he was, he knew that they were infected blankets, or he's just a dum dum. Off we go to rescue more people from a auction. I very much care where you fight. Just get me the money, or you'll suffer the consequences and be removed. From oh, good day, sir. <laughs> the moment I kill those guys, this guy is ready to throw hands. They say the same exact thing. I thank you nonetheless. I can rest easy knowing this is sorted. And what'll it be out here? More starving children? A guy. Mister, please, can you help me? Ah, praise be to God. I was reaping my yield and these lobster backs attacked me. I mean only to sell my produce in the borough. <sighs> Please. Get rid of the body. Reinforcements when I fought back. I only need to finish the harvest. And I cannot rebuff them alone. So I need to protect this guy while he gathers a harvest. I wonder if there are quiver upgrades. Leave that man tomatoes alone! This guy is so slow. Leave him alone. He's but a farmer. In New York. Thank you, stranger. This food will sell fast at a 
regular price. Those men have been seizing everything and driving up the costs. It's not right. Oh, I got a shit ton of arrows from that guy. <laughs> Who shot that guy with, like, five billion arrows? We'll go to the liberation mission, and then we'll go after the damn almanac. And then I'll probably just fly away. Is it going to be another pox blanket? Back off. These are my blankets. Back off. These are my blankets. Now, why'd you go and do that for? Why you gotta go off and do that? Blankets ain't cheap. This blanket has the pox in it. You need to see a doctor as soon as possible. Ah, oh, hell. I'm gonna believe the guy that just burnt me blankets. At least these children don't throw rocks at me. Well, where the fuck is it? Oh. There we go. Let's see. There's a diddly down that way. Or not to fall to the ground. And at least I don't think the synchronization music glitch has happened again just yet. But it's hard to tell. No, 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 none of this have happened. But yeah, I, I kind of dislike the notoriety system in this game because it seems to happen for like any action. And only sometimes does the game go, oh, we'll cover the notoriety for you when you do a mission. And other times it says, screw you, player. You get the notoriety for the whole city for doing a mission. So it just kind of gets in the way. Again, I miss Assassin's Creed 2's way of doing it. Where it's just, oh, hey, you went and you're doing crimes... It builds up, and then you get notice. This one has incremental, which is probably a bit more under like understanding in terms of like guard reactions in the real world. But again, this is a a game about genetic memories, a super solar flare coming in to destroy the world. I don't think that this is the type of game that should be going on about realism. And out of all the things that breaks people's immersions or suspension of disbelief in a video game, I do not think that guard awareness is going to be one of them. We'll take anything you can offer. These two chase us and beat us when they can. If we can draw them away, we can take just enough to fill our bellies for the night. They will die. It's like, beat up the merchants. No, the game wants me to knock them out. That's definitely for sure. Guess Almanac, bleh, bleh. Just go through. Yeah, really, I probably should just ignore the Almanacs, get them on my own time, because they don't really do much for me, do they? Hmm. Sure, they unlock things, seemingly. But I don't know what they are. Usually they're kind of random. I haven't invented anything yet, I don't think. And they just bothersomely float away. Oh. Jesus Christ, Benjamin, how many of these did you lose? These men have been found guilty of treason and conspiracy. And I find you guilty of being a bitch-ass motherfucker. And once again, the game decided, uh, fuck you.
<laughs> Once again, the game goes, you do not get to know that an attack is coming. That is just like one of the weirdest glitches. You'd think that would be a base thing. The simplest thing in the world. Is attack coming? If yes, like it should just be a built-in thing. Where if an enemy is going to attack the player, an icon spawns above them. And if the, maybe the enemy isn't, like, in range of the camera, it appears from off-screen. So that the player knows, like, hey, shit going down, mate. Go forth and murder. And I'm going to assume this is the only other city in the game, considering, uh, there's only three more spots. He is in the storm, floating on the bird. Recruit tokens? What the fuck's a recruit token? I don't think I care. Using recruit abilities requires tokens. Oh. I was right. I don't care. Let's see if I can go to that, hay that leaf barrel or if I'll die. I did it. I find it funny that they're poking around in, like, the hay leaves. And I pop out, and they're just like, no, oh, he went in there while I was searching. There's no reason to be uppity. He's like, <laughs> it's just kind of sad, because the more I play the game, the more I'm just like, oh, I don't really care about doing the optional things anymore. Which is just kind of sad. Because normally I try to do... Most of the things, but this game has just really put me off. Like, to put it into perspective, I went and did a lot of, like, Far Cry 2. I forget how much I did of Far Cry 3. Far Cry 3 kind of blends together for me. It had cool moments, but, like, the general gameplay to gameplay merges into a blob. At least it made me face the leaves. We will go and steal this box at the very least. Apparently they don't care. Not the naval duckfoot. That's the most evil thing in the world. We'll go do you. Just... Hmm. We'll do you. Grove there. Come down here. Hit that. Homestead mission. Just... Liberation as we go. These children are impenetrable brick walls. Send them to war. Imagine a dystopian future where people are raised like off of sanitized video games and they're like, children can't die in combat. Let's send the children to war! And then the children just don't come back, and they're like, Where the fuck are they? They couldn't have died. Children can't die. The video games say so. The dead body is keeping me in place. The, I am your friend! Why do you attack me? I already got that chest. When? Oh yeah, after the execution. You bastard! They didn't mind when I was stabbing the regulars. The moment that I just stand there looking at them, they decide I must die. Oh! Thank you. Thank you ever so much. This is just the new gun. Okay, that was hilarious. Conga line of death. <laughs> they didn't see a thing. That's the kind of thing that you would see in an Assassin's Creed parody. 
like a like a comedy skit that's taking the piss out of Assassin's Creed, that is what you would see. Why is it that the guards allow that with, like, the s stealth kill combo system, but when I want to do my own natural combo... Like, that's, that, that's actually kind of an amusing thing. The original Assassin's Creed 2 and Brotherhood and Revelations, and even Assassin's Creed 1, I think, kind of allowed for a natural version of the stealth combo system. Where if you kill a guy and he's right next to a guy, even if he notices and goes like, what the fuck, you could still kind of kill him in stealth. But in this game, where they make that a dedicated feature, they then made the original way of doing it harder to do. What the madness? Well, I'm gonna trust you. Leap of faith. Now I wonder, across all of the Assassin's Creed games, what the highest, like, height an assassin did the leap of faith was. Okay, game, giving that at me last minute. So these guys were trying to sell pox blankets. I'm burning that guy with him. We'll grab the chest, diddly d. Get that, that, and anything else. I'm coming, chest! Hmm. It's in a burnt down building. This all happened because of the wall. I should be able to open it from here. I'm coming for murder. Huh. Don't really know why that would be a liberation mission, but sure. I don't really have a joke for that. I pick you up. I will take you to the clinic. Like, personally, I don't know. I feel like it would be cooler if there were, like, a, a, a dedicated, like, quest chain for liberating sections of a city. Like, one where you first meet a guy who's in charge of liberating that area. Another one where you help them set up a big ol' mission thing, and then you execute the big ol' mission thing. Like, I don't know, something. Especially now that we're getting to the time-wasting mini-missions. You're telling me that shooting the rabid dog with a single arrow is equivalent to carrying this guy for, like, what, over a minute? One hundred percent, go do it. Especially because that's a longer one. Dang it, I was getting out of a menu. Here you go, dude. Please let me go. Like, I'm not even sure if I want to bother doing the fort. Like, I guess I could just throw all pretense out and just raid the fort with murder. 
That one took two. I've been robbed of my arrows. Son of a bitch. It's like a zombie apocalypse. Oh, son of a bitch, I have to carry another motherfucker. At least it's to the same place. So, the oh. Why did they put that one guy so far away from the health station then? They should have just put all three of them around the health station no more than 100 meters. What is wrong with these designers? So you're telling me that all of the eviction notice taxation people can be right next to each other? Oh, but we have to spread out the sick men. And I found it! Father's still sick. He can't but walk. He's got the pox. I don't care, can you kid. To the doctor's place? I'm already carrying a guy. The sickness just exploded out of nowhere. I hope for my boy's sake that I survive it. How did you get it? Well, that's obviously a lie, because you have it. So it's, it's amusing that the first one of these guys that I found was the one who was the furthest away. And then the final guy is literally on the other side of the wall to the clinic. Uh, my good sir? Uh, there we go. And now it says I can do that for a liberation mission. I shall do that later. And it's just like, hey, do you want to do the fort? Not really. They're very boring. They're basically lamer versions of the Far Cry outposts than anything that should be in a freaking Assassin's Creed game. again, when I play Assassin's Creed, I want to do the stealthy stealth. And then this game is dedicated to making it as annoying as possible to do the stealthy stealth. So I kind of resent it. You're very... There we go. You have to really get on this part to synchronize. I'm pressing the button, too. We have to get here to synchronize. Um. <laughs> the game was bugged and wouldn't let me fucking synchronize. He wasn't even hunched over, like, actually going along, like, climbing, parkouring stature. And now I just spawn behind the dudes. Okay, sure. Why do they turn around anyway? I tried to grab the guy to use him as a shield against his friends, and then the game just said, Fuck you. And then the game once again said, Fuck you. Oh, hey, so I can attack guys who are on the ground, but only occasionally. Dang it. I'm so used to the other Assassin's Creed's that I'm just like, hey, can I just use the tried and true actually diddly D? But no, the game's like, we have to have enemies that are impossible to normal counter because... Fuck the player, I guess. Come be my human shield and die.
Goodbye, friend. And more dudes are here to ruin my fun because fuck the player. Infinite reinforcements. I stuck my whole arm through that guy. The, the game spawns me in the middle of an army and then goes, yeah, there, there shouldn't be a way to stealth your way out of this. This game was made by an infinite typewriter. Now let's see if we can actually fucking synchronize. Let's see. Can I climb this segment of wall? <laughs> Why are you like this? Because <laughs> it doesn't want me to synchronize here. It only wants me to synchronize here. Maybe if I climb up normally. There. You can't climb the pillar. You have to climb the wood. If you climb the pillar, you're fucked. How do you even do that? <laughs> I'm dying. I'm in pain. Oh, I'm in pain. But no, seriously, how do you do that? Like, because you have to, like, designate areas for being like, oh, this is climbing parkouring mode. For, like, the game to recognize it in some way. I don't even know what they're doing. Oh, what? You're just a normal dude. How dare you. Oh, because I guess the game doesn't want me to kill him for some reason. Did the game... Like, what are you, a traitor? Who commands? Never met the man. Don't even know his name. Cagey as they come. Paranoid and suspicious of everyone and everything. Please, don't kill me. Are you actually gonna... You did kill him. There was no sound, but you did kill him. Oh, no, wait. He's he's alive. The way he let him down made it seem like he, he had killed him. Which would have made me go like, Connor, you, you, you chastised Haytham for that. And the way that the animation went made me think that he did, but no, he just, like, softly laid him down and the guy kind of acted like he had been silently shanked. Like, I figured that if he was going to let him go, he just would have, like, tossed him to the side. Like, yeah, hey, get out of here kind of motions. But no, he let him down like a dead body. Synchronization! We'll go free. Click you. Homestead mission. Ba 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 ba. New York is far more friendly to jumping off of synchronization points than Boston was. I kind of hate that the ex the DLC missions are just hanging out there. <laughs> He's like turns around. Oh god, they're all dead. A few days. Let me go. I beg you. It's not even beat up. It's kill all his friends. Like, watch, he's gonna gently lie him down. Oh no, that, never mind, this time he actually throws him. Why did he gently lay down the other guy then? This game is an enigma. That's not what I wanted. We 
We must climb all the buildings. Yes, 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 young homestead lady. I'll be there in just a second. Yes, yes, yes. They did all the things. Send them all out. Kill them all. Oh, I don't know. Why don't you come up here for help, huh? Connor, I just want you to climb around! I just want to have a better way of climbing up, you bitch! I wanted to grab the top, like, decorative thing so that he would actually climb to the goddamn roof. Why, game? Are you so terribly designed? Oh no, to, to, to actually get up on the roof for the synchronization? The player won't want to be able to do that. Dipshits. Because there's a synchronization point, woman! Game. Game. Climb, you whole. Whore ass game not allowing climbing. Well, obvious. Will you fucking climb, you son of a bitch? Clear handholds. Game says, oh, no, I don't want to. Execution. And I'm begging you to shut the fuck up. Seriously, why is the game not like pre-programmed to be like, oh, player obviously wants to go up to synchronization point for that instead of, oh, player wants to go in the gazebo. I can't even see. Well, obviously the game won't like... <laughs> the game wouldn't fuck me, would it? The game fucked me. Here I thought the game was actually being programmed to face Connor in the way of the jump down points, but no. Apparently the person that is like my realism all the time designed that synchronization point. Where is your mother? Follow me. Are you gonna try and... F are you gonna rob me? Good for nothing, wench! Let me... Bugger off! Please! I guess you me. want a beating! I'm gonna beat you up instead. Leave. That wasn't necessary. I can handle myself. When he returns, he'll try and give me twice the thrashing. Why would you stay with such a man? This is my house and business. It's my tailoring that paid for this place. I'll take his drunken buffoonery over leaving behind what I've built. If I told you there was another place where you could live and work, free of him, would you consider it? The catch? No catch. Our village is growing and in need of all forms of trade. Just business and a new life. I'll come and see if what you say is true. That seems reasonable. It's like, I'll scout it out, but I make no promises. Fair enough. Wait, I still don't understand why they would make synchronization points and not put the very much obvious, hey, come here. This is where you jump in. Like, maybe it was the other one? Because I saw, like, a leaf bale, but they seem so far away. There's no way they would have been able to do it. And there's one on the other, like, s other road, so I don't, I don't know. Punishable by what? Is it just that you've done by murder? Why are they on my ass now? Why are they aware of my being? <laughs> they heard! They have supersonic hearing soldiers! Why do they have supersonic hearing soldiers? They can just hear you from miles away and be like, There's a murder in over there! And just come running. That's not fun design. That's the antithesis. Oh, if I go there, there. Well, let's try it. Jesus fucking 
Christ, will you fuck off? I'm outside of your radius! Fuck off! Help! That's so stupid, I got out of the radius and it still was like, we're still gonna search for him. What's the point of the radius then? I guess to just say, oh hey, uh, the guards outside this radius won't look for you. When in other games, it's kind of like, oh, you exit the radius, all the guards leave you alone now. The game is beginning to annoy me again. If only because I'm just like, oh, the game will be reasonable in this mechanic. No. So I'm, 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 I'm on the other side of this big old building, this line of buildings. I kill these guys. I kill the last guy. The you guards go, what? I've been waiting too long. I know who the traitors are. All right. And they're bringing lists of the Patriot leaders around here to the Redcoats right now. All right. Find a way to swap this fake list with the real ones. And the rebellion can fight on. Why can't I just kill him? That's a cool idea for a mission. Reminiscent of older missions. But it's just, it's just kind of maddening sometimes. A whole contingent of guards hears me. A whole contingent of guard hears me. What the fuck? Bastard. Getting, getting murdered. These guys, round the corner. Couldn't How see. How do I meet your commander? Won't happen. You only trust his closest men. Even if you find him, you won't get anywhere near him. And then I just gently lay him down and throw him away. Throw him away! But again, it's just like guards that are very far away and should not be able to hear me instantly know a murder has been committed. Charge to my direction. Know where I am, like... How the hell is Shadow of Mordor a better Assassin's Creed than an Assassin's Creed? Uh, will you climb, you bitch? Because <laughs> at least in Shadow of Mordor, which I think came out around the same time as this game, the Uruks only know Talion's last known position, so they'll search there. These guys, these this is lazy AI where the it's like, oh, guards instantly know where you are, play to the Assassin's Creed mechanics or die. Which is just dumb. And now we're back to the good design of synchronization. Die, dog. How dare you be a narc. Okay. The game just decided uh, I'm not going to be able to counter that guy at all. Puff! Forgot how awesomely brutal that one is. There's no counter. Double no counter notification, you bitch. And now a whole platoon is here for anger. I hit the fucking button, you bitch! I just like these guys. They're just the fun ruiners. Oh, we're gonna ruin your fun. That's all they are. Because they can literally only be beaten... By disarming them. So it's basically the same stupid bullshit. Die. It's just so lame. 
Why you gotta be lame? Why go to the printer shop when we can just find uh, my face on a wall and tear it down? I'm trying to get the- QUIT DOING THAT! CONNOR! Quit jumping heavy dimity from table to table then why would they? Why is that a dedicated thing? Why the fuck would the player want to do that ever game? You bitch! The contextual running in this game is made by a maniac. Oh, fuck off. The notoriety in this system is fucking dipshit level. <laughs> Can player have fun? No? Fuck off then, you cunt of a game. Oh, well, you did a lot of fighting. Well, no shit, because the fucking gods are psychic. The gods are fucking psychic. They come out of the ether. Like, no fucking wonder. I can't fucking... I keep getting the goddamn notoriety is because all the gods exist forever, eternally. It's just so insipid of a game design. If you're going to force the player into that many combat encounters, no matter what they do... At least you can tear down- oh no you can't- oh no you can. It just takes a while for it to update. It's hilarious. I can just run about, do that. Who needs the printing presses when I can just run around with the guard on my tail? Who needs printing presses? I have legs. Hello, woman. I leave. And now I'm free. They'll never see me coming. But yeah, the notoriety system is so dumb. Like, the way that... Tier 3 should just not be a thing. Of them instantly looking at you and going, I'm gonna kill that guy. Sure. Like, have them go on high alert. Like, have levels 1 and 2, maybe. Level 1, they slowly recognize who you are, but won't, like, run after you. Level 2, they'll quickly raise the alarm with, like, a little red bar, and they'll, like, come to investigate, but... Like, I don't know. You need to find a way to switch these fake ones for the real thing. Why do you turn to look at me? That's annoying. Send him away, and let's see if we can send in the other guy on a simple mission. Why'd you randomly turn around, you cunt of a game? Give, call, reason, dipshit. Fucking design. Hate it. I'm gonna randomly turn around, huh? You, you're a motherfucker. You're a motherfucker. Cunt whoever designed this. Yeah. It's so stupid. If he still thinks that he's being followed... Can I follow him now? Play the game. Just 
just bothersome. If he was thinking they were still being followed, he'd still be looking. It's just annoying. Let me play the game. It's a video game. For some reason, it's just like, oh, you're wanted again. What did I do? Did planting the fake evidence? Well, no. Oh, I... Either I am in a place where we'll use these guys as a, a test. Let's see. Am I wanted? I am not wanted. The game has glitched out again. I'm... This... This game is like Pokemon Generation 1. Y you physically cannot play the game and not run into a glitch. Except in Pokemon Generation 1, you could at least go through the game and feel like you didn't inter interact with a glitch. In this game, they are all in just intruding on the fun. And I hate it. Now well, let's see what this liberation mission is, and then I shall ramble on about a thing I made for these streams. What shall this be? Oh no, not a farmer. Not the farmer, no! I don't have any arrows. Where the f- what? Why, why does the game steal my arrows? This, this is the second time that I die and then I respawn and then the game goes, Haha, I'm gonna steal your arrows. Why? I hate this game. I had a quiver full. I had a full quiver. I died. And then the game says, Fuck you, player. You don't get any arrows anymore. Why? But I still have my bullets. Hate it. This game is infuriating. Made by the most ardent of devils. This guy's just harvesting while there's death around him. Can I get arrows from this? Damn it. Why did that one guy have a full bundle of arrows on him? How is this guy not fucking dead yet? <laughs> I swear to God. Ah, I guess while we do this, I have discovered a new free-to-play game obsession. Honkai Star Rail is actually pretty fun. Not sure, like, how the end game is in terms of grind and upgrading your characters and being able to gotcha for new characters, but it doesn't seem terrible just yet. Just yet. It'll probably get terrible later. Probably. But at least for now, not exceedingly terrible. I do think that the AI in Honkai Star Rail kind of is a bit cheatsy and weird sometimes on the formidable foes. But, hey, it's fun enough. And that, that's more than some games can say. Like, I want, you're fucking, why do you go in your fucking whistle when I wonder if there's a fucking thing right there? You stupid bitch of a game. Hmm, which would player want in the immediate vicinity of a wanted poster? Uh, lose control of my camera, apparently. Dipshit game. But yeah, it's just like, you'd think that there would just be a box. Like, you would put the spawn locations of wanted posters in unobtrusive areas, and then just have a box where the contextual button press tears off the wanted poster. And so, when you are near in that box, you diddly d tear it away. But no, the game is like, but what if player wants to whistle to a guard while they're next to a wanted poster? You know, so that the guard can instantly turn the corner, see them, go Terminator sicko mode, know they're guilty, and come kill them. This game was made by the three blind mice. And their hundreds of blind nieces and nephews 
in a sweatshop slave labor. People are just running about at random and I don't know why. What the fuck? Oh, I, I don't care about you. G give me back my mini-map. You must be him. I've been waiting for I am you. him, yes. I know who the traitors are. And they're bringing lists of the Patriot leaders around here to the Red Coats right now. Find a way to swap this fake list with the real ones. And the rebellion can fight on. They couldn't even make three different versions of the monologue these guys give. And they couldn't even have the common decency or intelligence to uh, spawn the guy not looking at the player. Hey, you game. It slowed me down with the stupid things, and you're just like, meh, fuck you, player. He's like, for the love of God, will controls be controllable? You can get the fucking martial law bullshit off my fucking screen now, you cunt of a game. Oh, but you failed, player. Don't you want to know that you failed? You want to know who also failed? Like, the entire development team. Whether or not it was intentional or accidental on their part. Because they didn't have the time. Because Ubisoft crunched them all to death. Like, that's one thing that might have happened. The Ubisoft executives are just lording over their developers. One day, you as an Ubisoft developer hear the screams of your co-workers as they get dragged away. Then the executive comes, like, we crunched them all into berry juice, drink it for productivity. But still, the fact remains that some of this is exceeding bullshit. Why is the UI not updating? Execution. You must be him. I've been waiting too long. I know who the traitors are. And I know that you're gonna die soon. around here to the Red Coast right now. Find a way to swap this fake list with the real ones, and the rebellion can fight on. Let's watch them spawn the guy looking at me. Oh, hey, they didn't for once. That's not what I fucking want, you cunt of a game. I miss the ability to... I fucking hate this cunt of a game. I miss the ability to lightly jog and quickly run. Why did they have to get rid of that? I know some people are like, oh, they simplified the mission thing. It's like, I don't fucking care. I actually preferred when I could just go, hey, uh, me want go fast very yes. I preferred that. When I could just tell the game, I want to go moderately fast, so I'm just going to hold down the action trigger. And if I want to go super doodly doodly fast... Then I will also press trigger while holding A. Oh, fuck off, you cunt of a game. We need to have difficulty. I'm going to have difficulty getting my boot out of your ass. Oh, well, he's a conspirator, so it makes sense that he's going to turn around a lot. Fuck off. He just, 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 just have him obviously turning his head. He was looking forward like... Like, he was not even turning his head 180 degrees, like, in front of him. I fucking hate this. Come the fuck on. Let me move on with my life. Because I need to get close to him to do the diddly damn thing. Come the fuck on. I hate this game so fucking much. How are you going to do that, are you? Uh, do, 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 I'm gonna load this. You fucking dipshit of a game. Die. And of course he's immortal. I hate this game. This game's so utterly stupid. <laughs>
because they're just making it like possibly fuck off you can't apparently there's different rules for unarmed disarms versus armed disarms which makes this guy like i guess unkillable so you need to have a weapon which is just unbelievably stupid But yeah, it's just utterly brain busting how they're like, oh, we're going to make it so it's possible that these missions literally can't be completed because the AI will just be like, I'm constantly going to look at you. I'm constantly going to look at you. Oh, you, you won't be able to reverse pickpocket me because I'm always going to be looking at you. What fun game design. Whoever designed it should be in the words. Quick, somebody, summon forth the spirit of uh, Lorenzo Music's Garfield and his iconic line. Whoever designed that should be drug out into a street and shot. I've been waiting too long. Hyperbole. I know who the traitors are, and they're bringing lists of the patriot leaders. But it's just weird the because the other, right like the first one, the perfectly fine. Second one, mildly annoying. This third one, basically impossible. You fuck off, you fuck off. Why does he like to be turned around? Why? Why are you designed like this? God! I hate you so fucking much. It's not like I can hire courtesans. Is this just broken? Yeah, this mission is just broken. You can't even do it legitimately. You have to do it in a broken manner. The guy has to look at you just enough that he's turned a, di a specific direction and in the hey, I'm looking around for the person who's trying to plant on me animation, but then you move just correctly that his AI decides to have a seizure so you can p reverse pickpocket him while he's having a seizure. What game design? Execution. It's just utterly maddening. Again, the first one was fine. The second one, little clunky, but fine. Why did the third one just utterly break in two different places of having a... Will you fuck? Connor, you fucking pinkies out, motherfucker! Climb. Why is it that every single time I play this goddamn game, more and more seems to break? Like, when I was playing as Haytham, it didn't seem like all that much was broken. And then the more that I have unlocked, the more that there is to do, the more this game just disintegrates. What is wrong with this fucking game? I swear to God. It's just so annoying. Oh, so bothersome. I'm coming for you. Oh. I still don't understand that one time I, like, was chasing a courier guy, and the guards around me decided, we are going to kill you now. It's probably the, just the logic of the game breaking down. Maybe it's a call for help. Maybe a, a plea for suicide. Help kill me, is what the game was probably saying. Guess we have to wait for all the bodies to get diddly up. But it's just oh so bothersome that there are so many just random things. At this point, I don't even know for certain that I could claim something was intentionally designed in this game anymore. At this rate, anything could just be the game's logic disintegrating before my very eyes. 
and it would have as much like actual tangible possibility of being real welcome to america's well i guess ubisoft montreal's favorite game show was it designed or is the game dying before our very eyes game you are what the fuck is wrong with you I wanted to climb, and the game was like, well, we're gonna have a seizure, because you're moving the camera. I swear I haven't had this much trouble with free running in any other Assassin's Creed. Connor, what is wrong with you? Have you taken to eating the glue? Is that is what is that what's wrong with you, Connor? Then again, you didn't take the opportunity to kill your father, so maybe it is. Apparently that's entirely done. But it also says something's available. Or maybe it just says that that area is available. Which is possible. Oh. I guess and you. Oh, and I can't do any of the others there. What a bother. What if we went all the way down? All the way down to Georgia. You guys go do that one. I don't understand the difficulty ratings for the various colonies. But sure, game. Sure. And now I do not know where the safe to go. I feel like... Well, actually, no. I think that's safety. For a moment there, I was going to say I think this is one of those synchronization places designed by the maniac who insists that everything has to be, like, realistic, and if it's not realistic, you're a heathen. And that's why there weren't a bunch of hay bales and leaf bales around the Boston jump points, or at least none that I could see. And she's like, so much of this game, like, what even are you? What is the purpose of you? Are you a part of that whole trading thing? What the fuck's wrong with you? Go home. Become a family man. Be punched to death by an American. So there's just so many random little things, time wasters and random bullshit. And I'm just like, couldn't you have all just not have, mate? Father and son. Well, Fitz Haytham, uh, he's not here. And that's not where I started the mission! Okay, because I st stepped out of it. Evening, Connor. I see you made it here in one piece. <laughs> Recovered from your beating, then? Benjamin Church is held up in an abandoned brewery on the waterfront. We should be done with this by sunrise. Good. I would like to have those supplies returned as soon as possible. Of course. I wouldn't want to keep you from your lost cause. Come along, then. No, no, no. The lost cause comes uh, a few decades later with the Civil War. Back to our contracts. La di la di la di da. Send them both, so that's just instantly done. I wonder if I'm screwing my other assassins out of experience by doing that. Knowing this game, I probably am. Because it says experience each. So yeah, more than likely this game is that badly designed that it would basically soft lock that mini section of game <laughs> at this point I would not doubt that that would be a possibility tell me something mm -hmm. you could have killed me when we first met what stayed your hand curiosity any other questions what is it the Templars truly seek giant cock rings Direction. No more than that. 
It's your lot vague sentiments. Nonsense talk of freedom. Time was. The assassins professed a far more sensible goal. That of peace. Freedom is peace. Oh no. It's an invitation to chaos. Only look at this little revolution your friends have started. I have stood before the Continental Congress and listened to them stamp and shout. All in the name of liberty. But it is just Dude, not. you started this the is why you favor Lee? Like, dude, you basically orchestrated the Boston Massacre. You kind of have just as much cause to claim, like, the birth of this revolution than anybody else at this point. What the fuck's a Jabba now? <laughs> Is that a slur or something? Sour grapes. The people have made their choice, and it was Washington. People chose nothing. It was done by a group of privileged cowards seeking only to enrich themselves. They convened in private and made a decision that would benefit them. Oh, they might have dressed it up with pretty words. That does not make it true. The only difference, Connor. And what's oh, your pretty words saying, dude? Those you aid is that I do not feign affection. We must follow the man. I still want to know what the whole thing with, like, the Boston Massacre was about. Because he, like, gave the nod to Charles Lee, who went to do it. That was orchestrated. Like, unless this whole thing was, like, mm, I know that my inevitable son will not uh, actively take on the role of assassinating. Well, like, again, it, it's weird, because... Connor got the vision, and he wanted to leave the village against the wishes of his elders. But then, like, later on, was like, oh, no, it's never there. Again, he's kind of wishy-washy. Church, you clever bastard. What is it? I was hoping I could wave you past the guards, but it is a place for most of them, but men I don't know. Hmm. Well, I should be able to pass without arousing suspicion, but you... <laughs> no. We do this together or not at all. Then what do you propose? Stealth. I will find the guard who is off duty and take his uniform. Very well. I will wait here then. Of course you will. Oh, I'm sorry. Would you like me to come along and hold your hand, perhaps? Provide kind words of encouragement? If only church was hiding out in a church. If only for the, the word play. like you to fall down now. He looks the part. I think I think his skin is even a little lighter. Follow me. Hold strangers. You tread on private property. What business have you here? The father of understanding guides. You I recognize. Not the savage. Everyone keeps he's saying that he's supposed to pass as, Tasted of the like, fruits, did you? Italian or something. That's what, <laughs> it's hilarious, it's just like, that's what Achilles said, it's just like, oh, you should pass enough. Every single person in a cutscene, the savage. And I still wonder why the game is programmed to take away all your arrows when you die. Is that the sole, 
like punishment for death in this goddamn game? I think it might be. It's locked. Give me a moment. Oh yeah, lock picking. We haven't had to do that in forever. It must be strange for you discovering my existence as you have. I'm actually curious to know what your mother might have said about me. Always wondered what life might have been like had she and I stayed together. How was she, by the way? Dead. Dead. Murdered. By Charles what? Lee. So he didn't know. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, you're sorry. I found my mother burning alive. I'll never forget her face as she sent me away. Charles Lee is responsible for her death by your order. And you're sorry. <laughs> okay, that's a good line read by Connor's voice I actor. No such order. I spoke the opposite, in fact. I told them to give up the search for the precursor site. We were to focus on more practical pursuit. It is done. And I'm all out of forgiveness. Hello, Churchy. Benjamin Church. You stand accused of betraying the Templar Order and abandoning our principles in pursuit of personal gain. In consideration of your crime, I hereby sentence you to death. No! You're too late. Church and the cargo are Impressive. gone. And I'm afraid you won't be in any condition to follow. We've chosen to stand with the victor. It's Britain who will win this war. He's speaking from the dead. Perhaps that's why your little kingdom started to crumble. It was a nice dream you had, but a dream is all it ever was. Look at the half breed fight like some feral dog. Decoy, you are dead. Again. That one, and he's half free. Jesus Christ, will you fuck off? Surround them. They just keep on with the racism. Oh, I guess he was shouting while he was just on the ground. Anything you want. Only promise that you'll let me live. Hey, I'm still gonna kill you. You have my word. But not Hatham's. He left yesterday for Martinique. Took passage on a trading sloop called the Welcome. Loaded half his holds with the supplies he stole from the Patriots. That's all I know, I swear. <laughs> you promised. And he kept his word. Let's go. <laughs> Impressive. Now we have to run out of here from a burning building. We need to get out of here. You don't say. I just like realized the majority of the game like, this so far has been relatively cool. Like, with Haytham and Connor. But, like, the rest of the stuff... I do not take any fire damage. But, like... The rest of the game where it's just Connor going... Random thing to random thing... Is meh. But stuff like this, this is cool because it's actually dealing with Connor, Haytham, the Templars. They just stood there as they died.
It's padlocked. Stuck. See if you can find something to pry it open. Anna? What are you up to? Don't do that. There's no way of knowing what's on the other side. <laughs> okay, that's amusing. <laughs> okay, th that he finished it through the loading screen. Hilarious. We do now. Synchronized swimming. Everything with Haytham and Connor. So far has been pretty good. Church is at least a day on us. We must move quickly. Go to catch him. I have a ship we can use. Meet me on the pier when you're ready. <laughs> the foam and the flames. It's just like, it's, all the thoughts I have about this game are mixed and orbed and stuff. Because this game is mixed and orbed and stuff. It's just very, very weird. Send them all so that they can all get the same amount of experience. Because th the game is uh, inconsistent with the difficulty of the various missions. Because instead of going, oh, harder as time goes on, they just like seem to be random in difficulty. So I can't even plot things out like that. I'm going to go buy arrows. And then I suppose we will commence on this voyage. Probably be forced into playing a ship segment. And all these arrows. All the arrows, all of them. Got Officer Saw, which is better speed than that. Lincoln's sword. Found in a chest in memory sequence nine. Hmm. Oi, I was going away, you bastard. There's, like, no downtime on, like, leaving a menu and p pressing the goddamn button again. Um, yeah, I think we'll just continue on away. Do, just begin the mission. And then at some point, do, like, the liberation mission contract contact things later. Because, like, I'm not using my assassins for anything. And the bonus thing is just, like, a bonus mission thing that I send them out on missions. Don't really care. Bitter end. Shall we? Stroke. Stroke. And Haven's just sitting there. It sounded like we fell in. A new painting is available at the manor. Oh, how dandy. And now we've entered into Uncharted. I told you this was a poor heading. Church is surely days ahead of us now. Why am I wearing a seafaring outfit? Have some faith in the boy. He's yet to disappoint. We've only been on one mission, man. Well, the bar's not been set very high now, has it? We are closer than you think, father. There's boxes everywhere. Are we sure that it's wise to let a Templar on our ship? We've got a Tokyo Drift the ship. 
At least with these rocky cliffs, we're not going to be, like, blindsided by sudden winds. Then we can board and murder. Bring us in for a closer look, son. They throw everything overboard. It seems the ship has been abandoned. But for what Church reason? Was a slippery little bastard. Do they have a second ship? Will I be able? <laughs> the game was throwing me to the goddamn wall there. Well, get out of the rocks and then hell say. Fucking wind. It's almost as though you want him to escape. It's the goddamn wind, father. The wind. Okay, I'm sorry. That's so dumb. The wind system is fucking me just randomly. To be fair, this crew is really good at going full sail, half sail, full sail, half sail. It doesn't even seem like we're going to. With more experience should take the wheel. I hate the wind. The wind is the worst. It just randomly changes. Control it. She's passing between the cliffs, boy, and the Aquila is too big to follow. We need to go around. All right, then. God damn it. We're going to lose him. Only with that attitude. What choice have we? Those rocks would crush us. The current here is swift. We still have a chance. I swear the wind is literally against us. Enemy ships approaching. Ready our weapons. Prepare to return fire. Can't even control the goddamn thing. Game. I was a fucking Do not let Church escape. I fucking am, mate. You should have listened to me. 
And you should have listened to me. He's nearly away. We're in front of him. Hold R1. <laughs> That's utterly terrifying. this and now we're stuck in an eternal war where they're probably going to win probably ah never mind they decide to Make a mistake. Haha. <laughs> now we get to be pirates. For a moment there, I was afraid we were going to be stuck in the eternal back and forth. I take cover, they shoot me. What are you doing? Ending this. Very rude, Atham. We're gonna be pirates. It's like it's like they wanted to be Assassin's Creed 4 before Assassin's Creed 4. I need to get below deck. I was behind a fucking box. Takes forever. I want to reload. Get out of here. How dare they have a guy that looks like one of my guys? Hanging about. Oh, it wasn't ready. It wasn't done then. It wasn't done reloading, you fuck ass game. Really wish that it would be consistent. But I just ain't. We have to have an obnoxious long reload. <laughs> Let me guess, he's already dead. No assassination confession for this guy? Or will I find them dueling? What has Church done with the cargo? He dumped it. Right? That's what all those boxes were. New Hampshire is free! Let me tell you, 
working my way through your nasty little tricks and traps. Clever! Some of them anyway. Let's listen to this. I'll give you credit for that. And for the As the epileptic uh, lantern has a fit in the corner. Dream, Benjamin. A dream you sought to destroy. And for that, my fallen friend, you will be made to pay. What kind of dream? Not even using his knives. We came here for a reason. Different reasons, it seems. <laughs> Goodbye, little man. Where are the supplies you stole? <laughs> Go to hell. Goodbye, then. <laughs> Did not even the neck. In the side, bleed slowly. I ask again, where are the supplies? Uh, on the island beyond. I'll wait here to pick up. But you've no right to it. It isn't yours. What do you mean? You no, stole it. Not mine. Those supplies are meant for men and women who believe in something bigger than themselves. Who fight and die that one day they might be free from tyranny such as yours. <laughs> Are these the same men and women who fight with muskets forged from British steel? Who bind their wounds with bandages sewn by British hands? How convenient, Wood. We do the work. They reap the rewards. You spin a story to excuse your crime. It is kind of weird logic. It's just like, they use goods made somewhere else. It's all a matter of perspective. There is no single path through life that's right and fair and does no harm. Do you truly think the crown has no cause? No right to feel betrayed? You should know better than this. Dedicated as you are to fighting exemplars who themselves see their work as just. Think of that the next time you insist your work alone befits the greater good. Your enemy would beg to differ and would not be. So, like, we learned nothing about this guy. Really. His motivation. He was just like, ah, the colonies use British shit. His passing was a boon for us both. Come on. I expect you'll want my help retrieving everything from the island. What do you want me to do? Throw you to the river? My coat is fluttering in the wind. Flutter, flutter. Memory sync, sequence nine complete. Yeah. Here. I have been reunited with my father, but I do not yet know if this bodes well or ill. The answer is Our yes. Our are aligned, at least so far as independence is concerned. But he continues to defend Charles Lee, the man who murdered my mother and burned my village. Still, so is this exposition of what you know or what you think? Because he only just learned that him. Charles and Co. did that. I hear much talk of freedom and equality, but it seems one must be a landed white man to benefit. What of someone like me or Surrey? What role for us in this? Who's Surrey? So much I must consider Where the fuck did that eagle come from? To do it. And once again, like, Achilles was making a whole thing at the beginning of Sequence 9 going, You mustn't tell them, Connor! And then obviously we only told him that Charles Lee was working with Tom Hickey, which he was. We didn't even really tell them about the Templars. I'm so fucking confused.
This feels like a first draft. Welcome back. And how was Martinique? Achilles, I... I owe you an apology. What for? It was Nothing happened. Say the things I did. You got in a fight over nothing. Words were harsh, Connor, but there was also truth there. I failed the order, allowed the Templars to take control. But now their hold is weakened, which makes me believe there's a chance for peace. Imagine what might be accomplished if we were to unite. Why the change of heart? Where is this coming from? You've met your father, haven't you? I do not claim to trust the man or even like him. But he has worked with me. But I would be remiss to ignore this opportunity. Datham may listen, but will he understand? And even if he does, will he agree? Even he must admit that we can achieve more together than we do alone. Especially as his own men betray him. I assume you're off to find him. Yes. I ride for New York to see what might be done. And I guess before we leave, we shall go in and check the thing just to make and buy and make and buy of all the things. And then probably leave and be like, oh, there's some homestead missions to upgrade shit. Or cowhide. We don't have any of that. Just buy everything. This is a game. Nothing perishes here. Buy everything. I'm rich and nothing have nothing else to spend my money on. Wahaha. Dang it, then max out. Cause I am a fool. Just buy everything. I have the money for it. Have some clay, some copper ore, some iron ore, some limestone, some rock salt, no sand. Like how? How can we not? <laughs> how can we not fight fucking sand? Cartridge pouch, sure. Like, I'm not, I don't have anything of want when it comes to, like, certain things. Just make things, I guess. Make all the things. Yeah, I just, I don't really understand the homestead all that much. I think it's just here for, like, trading. Of which I don't really care for the missions in this. Four homestead missions. Oh, they shouldn't take that long. These should probably even be the last-ish, maybe? Or at least, they're beginning to dwindle, the very least. We might do one, two, depending on how long they last, and then that will be it for now. Let us see, let us see. Okona, do you have a moment? Are you about to die? Do I need to throw some pigs into a pin? What is it, Prudence? I fear Sivi bothering you with this, but Warren's taken a yield to market in Boston. Could you round up the livestock for me? 
I've tried, but this baby in my belly takes the wind out of me. Of course. I will see to it. Hip! Hip! This way! No, you, you bitch. I am right next to you. Get the fuck. Not there. What do you mean, not there? That's exactly where. <laughs> Y'all need yourselves a herding dog. You know, than they look. one not named Connor. The AI of these pigs is annoying me. Things I do for this place. <laughs> the things I do for this farm, I don't. I fucking hate the AI. Will you fuck off, pig? I am right fucking next to you. Come on, get in the pen. Come on, pig. Way. To just run around in circles. The pig's AI is very dumb. Not there. Kind of there. I'm right in front of you, you damn pig. You are very dumb. It's more like direct them to this pole than anything. Thank you, Connor. I could never have managed that. <laughs> it was my I can pleasure. bet. Are you well? I am. And I couldn't be happier. Warren and I have been waiting a long time for this. And if truth be told, we could not dream of a better place to raise our family. Well, I'm glad that you don't hate this place. Through herding pigs, a silo is made. The wonders of nature. Well, let's go... I, what was his name? Norris? Let's go talk to Norris and have him be like... I don't know, just like... I want to make a bomb for the lady. Sets the entire homestead on fire. We throw him into the fire as penance for his crimes. Oh, is this the doctor? Do you set up shop up here? Who are you? No, it is Norris. Norris didn't even try last time. We picked flowers, said they At say least, flowers. She did not like the flowers. She tossed them aside. But prudence was certain. <laughs> I knew Miriam was not the type for flowers. I will uncover this mystery myself, Norris. All right, but please don't let her see you. She would think I'm bizarre. If she saw me, she would think I was bizarre. Don't get caught while looking for the perfect gift idea. Just play serious music, like all is on the line. For stalking. This is going to be an annoying mission, isn't it? It's either going to be very simple or aggravating beyond belief. There is no in between. Not with this game. <laughs> do 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 do. Why couldn't the game just spawn me over there? Why do I have to run all the way around the goddamn mountain? Here, gift idea, gift idea, gift idea.
I only see one investigation bit. But I don't know what she's doing. And it's already, like, maxed out, Can so... Because I don't know what the game wants me to do. Maybe I can sneak in. She disappeared. Is this a vision? Is that why it's all purple? This, this is a first of its kind, I think. It's like, tries to use, like, broken blade. Darn, the, bra Spider the blade is broken. That blade has seen its prime. And now that I have discovered the gift, uh, she apparently doesn't mind that I'm there. Is there a fast travel point? I can't fast travel during the homestead missions. Damn it. Why? I I did the mission. Just teleport me back. There is nothing to be gained by running around a mountain. Help. The game is eating my soul. This does remind me, though, that supposedly I heard that apparently, like, a big, big shot at Rockstar apparently proposed the idea of games should be priced by the hour of, like, game time. And just, like, how would you, like, even begin to calculate that? Unless it was literally every hour you play, you spend money. Of which just the amount of, like, padding games already have would get a billion times worse. It would be so terrible. <laughs> Excuse me. Scream, little beaver. Scream for your life. No one will save you after I go turn this into Norris. To tell him, hey, knife. What the fuck? Why does he live on a mountain? We'll execute Norris for that. What if you trip and fall? I guess that's why he has a fence, but still. Knife. Norris. I looked around her camp, and it seems she needs a new hunting knife. The one she is using has seen better days. Oh, we. Oui. That seems more right for her. <laughs> I'll think on it. Merci. Merci beaucoup. And now he can produce level three minerals. Ah, fuck, and he already has another one. Was it a level? What are you going to do? Level four minerals. But I do believe that that will be it for now. We've been going for almost three hours. We completed a memory sequence. We got to a decent stretch of the game with Haytham and Connor going on an adventure. That was fun. And the game didn't absolutely shit the bed nearly as much as it has in the past with that. Connor continues to have, like, a weird, flippy-floppy, wishy-washy, like, character to me. Like, I, I can't get a read on him and what he wants. He's weird. Same with Achilles. Also weird. And honestly, Haytham, also kind of weird. This is a game of weirdos. Uh, I, I found New York's, like, uh, liberation missions to vary completely, like shoot some rabbit dogs with like one arrow or carry a guy a hundred meters 
not very equivalent, and also the really weird protect guy while he gathers vegetables. Also weird. And just, like, the multitude of other things. Like, I know a lot of weird things happen with the control. It's like, oh yeah, and those are the liberation missions of reverse pickpocketing. Basically becoming po impossible unless you just exploit the stroke-having AI. Yeah. And also the, the, the British guards just instantly knowing that the final guard I killed was on the other side of the building and charging after me. And, and revealing just how utterly lame and basic the AI in this game is. It's just... Lots and lots and lots and lots. I still don't know why Connor changed his outfit for that one mission on the boat. He was just like, I am now going to wear a captain's uniform. Why? <laughs> it seems so weird. Ah. We skipped over ha going on another modern Desmond mission for this. <laughs> yeah, still, like, this session was better than most others, but, like, it still ain't the best, man. Ain't the best. I think it's still below Brotherhood, because at least Brotherhood felt a bit more concise and contained. It had its stupid bits. It had the things I didn't like. But God, is it leaps and bounds better than this still. Like, maybe if there's more to the story of Connor and Haytham, the story of this game might exceed Brotherhood, but gameplay-wise, it's no match. Brotherhood is winning. Ugh. But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, I have two YouTube channels. My edited content YouTube channel that I swear I'm going to make content for someday once I get my brain wrangled. Called Neon Icy Wings. Neon Icy Wings for edited content and such. And then if you like streams, I have a Twitch channel, Neon Icy Wings. Or YouTube channel, Neon Icy Games. And also on my streaming Neon Icy Games YouTube channel, I also upload the streams and other gameplays that I might do off stream. So if you want to see me play games of long past, like Mass Effect Trilogy, Kirby, and Undertale, you can. Other such things, if you like my avatar, little art in the corner, I also draw and post to various art sites that can be found through my link tree. My link tree can be found through direct links in the description of YouTube videos or bios and descriptions and link places of various other sites. But yeah, many different sites can be found linked in my link tree. And... Spelled out, it is linktr.ee slash Neon Icy Wings. So, my new grounds, DeviantArt, Twitter, Tumblr, uh, Inc. Uh, uh, just so many sites. Blue Sky, I'm trying to post more there. Uh, all those can be found uh, through my link tree, so you can just go and see all the sites that I'm active on. You can also find sites for my writing, so if you want to see the stories that I've written, you can. And then, if you're also feeling very kind, you can throw me a dollar do or so through my Patreon. But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye-bye.